Hey you guys, welcome back to Rise Tie-Dye. So, I told you we're gonna get a start on Halloween kinda early this year. I have, this video is how to tie-dye, reverse dye, Halloween swirls, and we're doing three of them. I have two of them already swirled up right here. They are gonna dry out a little bit before I put any bleach on them. And we're going to show you this one right here real quick. I just picked three random sizes, but they are 100% cotton gilded long sleeve t-shirts. And I'm going to use my trusty, we're just going to get right into this. I'm using my trusty hemostat, like always. And I know I've been doing a lot of swirls lately, but they all look cool. And most of the time they all look different. So that's why I like doing them. So these three swirls are Halloween swirls. We're going with the black t-shirt. One of them is gonna have an orange swirl. The next one will have a green and the last one will have a purple. So we're doing Halloween colors. And you can do this however you wanna do. You can mix colors if you want. You can put like purple and then green swirls. You can add more swirls if you do a couple different pipe pieces. But we're just going to do the single color swirl for these ones. So I am going to eye my shirt and find my center, which is normally about here. So we're going to lock that into place. It's probably a quarter of an inch of a... The hemostat's holding on to about a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to start swirling. And as I do that, I'm going to push some of these pleats down. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's a black shirt, but just you'll see that your pleats start to bunch up and they want to start going up around your hemostat. Just push them down a little bit. Rake the fabric with your fingers as the pleats start to form. And you'll see some of them will bunch up. If you don't like that, you'll have to go back through and redo them or untie the whole thing. But I just kind of start using my fingers and pushing the fabric around because these do have sleeves now. We have sleeves right here. So these are going to start going around. It all depends on how you swirl your shirt. So if you do it the left to the left, you're going to be going a different way than I am. So your swirl will be a little different, but it is about the same thing, just opposite way. So I'm just pulling in my fabric without twisting the hemostat now. And these, it's going to create their own pleats, some of them bigger than the others. And I just kind of make sure they're about the same around the outsides. So after these are all swirled up, I am going to let them dry out a little bit. They're still going to be a little bit, a little bit damp when I put the bleach on them, but we are going to use 100% bleach because I want them to be pretty bright in color for the bleach color so that the dye will look really good on them. So for our colors, I am definitely using my deep orange. I am definitely going to use my Lime Pop Green because that reminds me of Slimer from Ghostbusters. And my purple is probably going to be red violet because I think that looks really good with Halloween stuff. So I do have lots of purples now. I have grape, lavender, plum, but I think red violet's probably going to be the best one for that one. Because it's still bright, but it's still a dark purple. I'm just using my really stretchy green rubber bands. And then we're going to pop this open so it's not locked anymore. And I'm pressing down on the fabric that it's connected to. And once in a while, if you want to try to pull it apart a little bit so it's not going to rip your fabric. I'm just rocking it back and forth while holding it open and it comes right out. Try not to yank up because if you do, you're going to pull your fabric right up and out and you're going to ruin the center of your spiral. So I have three random sized long sleeve black shirts all ready to go. I think I have extra large, medium, and small. I just kind of ran and got some so we can do this video. 
So these are just gonna dry out because they are damp. I just washed them. So they just came out of the wash. The reason why I wash them ahead of time is to, sometimes when the factories make these shirts, they will have a residue on them from packaging or the wherever they're being made will have residue around. So I wash them so that they're not stiff anymore and their residue's all out of them. Sometimes that can mess with your dye. And then no soaking in soda ash for these ones yet. We have to do the bleach first. Then we have to let the bleach neutralize in our hydrogen peroxide mix. And then after that, we can soak them in soda ash, wring them out, and put dye on them. So that's what we're gonna do. Let them dry out a little bit, and we'll be right back to do the bleach. All right, you guys, so these are our reverse dye Halloween swirls. They're all dried out. And I only have one sitting here because I don't, want to put them all in the same tray and have them be touching each other. So I'm just going to explain to you what I'm going to do and then we're going to do it. So 50-50 bleach never works for me. So I'm always going to use 100% which I put in one of my bottles. And you can match your swirls if you want. So you can try to line them up. So like for me, I'm going to try to line them up with my tag here. I know it's kind of dark, but it's because it's a black shirt. <laughs> so just like my my other two have the tag sticking out. So I'm pretty much gonna try to line up with that. Maybe even just do a little bit of a pie piece. You'll see as I do it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put bleach just like we would do with liquid dye. And then do it on the top and the bottom. And after we do that, let it sit for a half hour see if that's how light you want it um try to be careful if you let it sit for way too long it's going to ruin your shirt so just keep an eye on it i can't give you an exact time because it all depends on how light you want the black to be it's never going to turn white i can tell you that because that's going to take all the color out of it and by then your shirt's ruined so <laughs> so bleach it like you would do liquid dye like i said from uh, top and bottom then after you have achieved the lightness that you want you're gonna rinse it try to rinse the bleach out with cold water and then right after you do that put it in your hydrogen peroxide bath so that is nine cups water to one cup hydrogen peroxide so for three shirts i'm gonna double that i'm gonna do 18 cups of water and two cups of hydrogen peroxide and that's gonna neutralize your bleach so that it doesn't ruin your shirt anymore so you'll it won't put holes in it um, <clears throat> if you get holes in it it's because you let the bleach sit on for too long so you want to let it sit in the hydrogen peroxide for at least 20 minutes then you're gonna throw it in soda ash for another 20 minutes and then we can put the liquid dye on. So after we get this done, I'll be right back to show you the liquid dye part and then we can keep going. So I'm gonna do the other two off camera and show you this one on camera. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so we have our three long sleeve Halloween swirls. We're gonna do our reverse dye swirls. And my colors I have made are Lime Pop Green, Red Violet from Dharma, and Deep Orange from Dharma. So these are all from Dharma. But I think they're the best Halloween colors. So 
All we're gonna do is dye them top and bottom. Make sure you get in each crease, make sure you get all the bleach colored areas really good because you don't really want this color, you want the color that you're trying to dye it. So make sure you saturate it really well. And after we do this, it's gonna sit for 24 hours and then we can open them up. So make sure you rinse them until the water runs clear. But because I always forget what I'm doing, just so you know, these are, just came out of soda ash. They went from bleach to being rinsed. I literally just let the sink water on cold run over these for a couple of minutes each and flipped them over, did it again. And then I wrung them out, put them in my hydrogen peroxide mix, which I did 18 cups of water and two cups of hydrogen peroxide. They sat in there for at least 20 minutes. Um, I actually had enough in there where I could pile them on top of each other, so that worked out really good. And then after I did that, I wrung those out. These all stayed tied the whole time. I did not untie them or anything. So after that, I pulled them out and dip, put them all in soda ash right on top of each other also. And now we're gonna dye them. So once you get the dye on here, make sure you let them sit for 24 hours because that's normally, the longer you wait, the better your colors are gonna be. But I normally don't even like waiting 24 hours. So that's what we're gonna do, 24 hours. And then we can open them up. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so we have our Halloween reverse dye swirls to reveal. So before I go any further, I used Lime Pop, but it was really, really light, so it kind of looked really dingy with the bleach color underneath. So I put Emerald on top of that on both sides. Just throwing that out there. We're just gonna dive right into it so you can see all three, and it won't take forever. There will probably be a little bit of bleachish looking color in these, but hopefully not like a ton because I really did try to get it all. So these are all long sleeve shirts and there's our green swirl. That's what I'm talking about with the bleach kind of color right there. But that looks super good. So there's one. The back. This one is a small. So there's that one. Then I have the orange. I'm saving the purple for last because I think that's gonna be my favorite. But the orange looks super cool too. All right, so here's the orange. Ooh, that looks super cool. I love that. These were um, dyed half and half, so it was just a little pie piece. That's why the swirl is skinnier than like our last reverse dye swirl t-shirt. Orange looks awesome. Now the purple one's probably gonna look kind of dark from where you're sitting, but in the thumbnail will be washed and dried everything that we did here today. So if you wanna know what it looks like washed and dried, see if the dye stayed and everything, it's in the thumbnail, so check that out. 
this one I can already tell has some bleach color in it, but it is purple and black, so it looks awesome. Yeah, this one should have been oversaturated if that makes any sense. So that means that I should have put way more dye than the other two. This one, I did go through the cracks, but apparently not enough. So just remember that when you're making yours, oversaturate these because even if it goes into the black, it's not gonna hurt it any. So all you're gonna do is go into all the bleach spots and over dye it, which is totally okay in this case. So I gotta say my favorite is the orange one. So I'm gonna hold that up one more time. It looks like really fiery and like a really cool pumpkin-y color. So doing all of that, make sure you oversaturate these shirts because then you can get all the bleach color out. But do everything that I did in this video and you can make your own reverse dye, long sleeve swirl shirts and they're awesome. Perfect for Halloween. So I know we're early, but we gotta get a jump on it, ready? Thanks for watching.